Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here again for our weekly angel reading for December 31st, 2012 through January 6th, 2013. And so um, this week begins um, an opening to a new year. And so we um, celebrate this um, opportunity as we are also um, encountering within our souls a new understanding of truth and clarity. And um, I know for some of us, um, uh, for those of you who are in the Christian faith, the, the 6th of January represents the epiphany. And so um, as I was meditating um, before this, you know, beginning to, to, to shoot the video uh, for this week's reading, um, this thought did pop up in my head about Epiphany. And so what I'd like to start with before I get into that is the message that I got that um, came out as words, but not as a sentence, but there's an understanding or a meaning behind it. And what I was told was, um, was to... Um, to um it says fear was the first word i saw then feed and then it, it said only um and then the next word was eat and then god so what it was really meaning was that um this week we may be end up being fed a lot of fear and to really be um to really only um eat what God has prepared for us. And I was reminded of Psalm 23, where it says, Thou hast prepared a table before me um, in the presence of those who would trouble me, is one translation of it. And I found this very interesting. And, and then I kind of asked, you know, to clarify what this was about. And they were just showing me um, a television which represents the media in all of its forms. So that means, you know, um, what magazines, video games, television, um, computer, whatever uh, form of media that you most um, are attached to, um, to really um, to not get caught up in the fear that may be um, fed to you and I um, at this time. And so, you know, that, that part of the psalm, um, we need to think about what is the table that God prepares for us, okay? And um, as we all know and understand that the table that is prepared for us is a plan of peace. We were talking about this last week. Um, and what creates that peace, what is the causation of that peace is God's love. And God's truth and God's reality is what holds this all together. And so what we need to focus on um, in this coming week is that truth. And I believe that um, that what they meant by the epiphany for on a more universal sense for all of us, uh, no matter what our denomination is, as we know the angels are non-denominational, but that we are going to start having a, um, an epiphany of our own now. Um, part of this new world energy, and I know a lot of people um, you know, we had a lot of expectations around what would happen on December 21st. And uh, when I tuned in that day, what I was told was, is that all of these expectations actually are causing um, um, distortions or illusions um, of what, what can happen. And so, you know, on either side, whether it was the, the you know, the doomsday or um, just having, you know, really high expectations, we sh really shouldn't have them. The only one that is necessary for us to be seeking is clarity of God's truth. And so what I got from that when I was told this is that um, in all ways, what we're going to start to really sense is a clarity of God's truth, not out in the world, in the external world, but in the our internal world, the world of our soul, our divinity, our holiness, is where this, um, this truth 
will begin to um, blossom and spring forth um, from your heart into your mind and consciousness. And so just really, instead of be looking outside of yourself, begin to notice what information and ideas uh, come to your clarity um, of healing, um, of clarity about relationship, primarily with you and God, um, also in your clarity about whatever uh, projects that you're working on and clarity about God's will and your will and the, that they're not separate, but they are one and always have been. The idea that we um, believe that God's will was somehow separate from ours um, was never the reality. And so truth like this will begin to unfold um, in all of us. And this is where the world will really change. Um, I'm not saying that we shouldn't do what we can in the world, but the, the real change begins when all of us um, will begin to hear our truth. And I know you say, well, oh, there's some people who still do bad things and so forth. And yes, we still have our free will. What I do believe personally is that the truth inside of us now is, is already awakened. And that's why they were talking about keeping our hearts open and so forth in the weeks uh, prior. And what I think will happen is, is that because our souls now, that there's been a change of guard where our souls have are now in the front seat driving and our um, ego is in the back seat. I don't know if any of you have ever had this experience, but I used to have dreams um, pretty much throughout my entire life where I'd wake up, not wake up, but I'd be in the dream and all of a sudden I'm sitting in the back seat of the car and no one's driving, but the car is moving. And this used to frighten me, but I just realized this week, this is like an epiphany that I had this week, that it never, not, no harm ever came to me. What I was afraid of was the idea of letting go. And what I did not know with that invisible friend who was driving was my soul, was God, the universe itself leading me and guiding me. And so um, the thing is, is that it's sort of that same kind of thing. So right now we may fear our souls, um, you know, guidance and, you know, driving us because it's taken us to places and, and things that we may not have planned for ourselves, but it really is leading us to what is best for us and our best and highest good. And so um, this idea that we are um, allowing more and more um, our soul to take the lead. And so the, the, the sense is, is that, um, you know, we don't have to be afraid of, of God's will. Um, and, and we can just allow that. And so when I was, um, um, in my meditation, you know, I asked this question, which a dear friend, um, posed to me this week and when she is meditating and she said, she asked God, how do you want me to know you? And I also added, and what sign? And so maybe you want to ask God that question so you can become familiar with the, the truth and guidance in your soul. Um, and so this is one aspect of the epiphany. And so what I, getting back to what I was saying before, is that what I think for those people who uh, you may say, well, th this person is not, um, you know, aligned with their soul because they've done something which you consider to be horrible um, in the world. And what I feel is that we're still retaining our free will. But what will happen is, is that the because the soul is in the in the driver's seat, then and the and the dissonance, the discord um, will be greater so that you will may want to you still have free will to do what you want to do but now you'll notice how um you'll have a sense that there's something not in alignment you know that distance or that discord will be louder so you can't ignore it still giving you the opportunity to choose your own way but I, at least this time as opposed to in the past and the what i call the old platform which was fear um it was not um, as easy to feel the dissonance, but now we will have greater um, clarity of that dissonance. So really, um, this is a time where you really just want to 
um, be at peace and, and go inward. So in the presence of those that would cause you trouble or those things in the media that would cause you to be afraid or a bill that you, or something you're worried about or some goal that you're still worried about, um, remember to, remember the promise of peace. Um, that God gives to us and and do not get caught up in your fear um, because fear as a course of miracles says has no reality um, and so we we create if you think about it fear in our mind um, and and oftentimes that fear is not real it's not grounded it's, it becomes real once we give our belief to it so think about that piece so let's take a look at this week's cards and see what the messages are from our angels. Um, the first card is the Archangel deck, and it's the uh, Archangel that you can work with in this week. And I can't believe this. This is the exact same card that um, was in this place last week. So we're still being urged to be patient. This is the Archangel Jophiel. And uh, this has been happening quite a lot where we've had either Archangel repeat within the cards or the same card repeating. In, in the last month or so, we've been having this. So this is definitely um, some kind of message to us. Um, and it, it, you know, to be, remain consistent in our beliefs and in our faith, um, to really trust God. Uh, and this is what I remember seeing now the number 20, which was angel number, which was just this, what I'm saying that, you know, to stay connected with God, to have faith in God and heaven and um, ask them to help you um, to shore up your faith and ask God for anything that you need. So um, the card says your dreams are booming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So the message still is that we need to be patient. We need to give it time. Um, there's a sense that um, that you know we're gonna. It's gonna be another couple of months, maybe before things settle uh, down somehow. So um, I, I've just seen a, a, a vision which I'm trying to kind of understand, but um, uh, it, I'm seeing. Um, you know, I have to ask the, the angels about it, but I'll just tell you what I'm seeing and so that maybe you may get something out of it. But what I'm seeing is like Osiris, uh, the Egyptian god, um, which is, and I'm seeing um, a unicorn kind of whispering in his ear. I'm not quite clear what that means right now, but they're showing that to me and, and I'm sure it may come through in a few minutes. Um, so we'll just um, save that maybe for the end. <clears throat> so, um, so, then let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week, which is Monday and Tuesday, which is also our focus for the week. Ah, okay. And it says music for manifesting. We've had this card come up a lot. Uh, not this particular card, but in the fairies deck, we had the music card come up as well. Um, here she's playing um, a harp or a lyre. And the other one, there was a harp. So, and the card says to manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So, and this card is about um, really, um, you know, they're, they're trying to show us how to manifest uh, and use a tool for manifestation. So, um, you know, what you may want to do is um, if you don't play music, um, what you can do is uh, maybe there's a chant that you have. Um, you know, you could just even think, I am, I am, I am. Um, and as you're chanting, focus on what it is that you are desiring to to manifest towards you. And again, uh, because we have the, as a theme of the week, uh, patience, remember to with that um, in manifestation, we understand that there's divine timing. And so um, the thing is not to focus on any of your fears um, and to to focus on and reaffirm your faith through understanding that what you want, what is really in your best and highest good is also what God wants, which is 
you know, this is what we mean by God's will. So really hold on to that. Um, and so, you know, this is some a time in the beginning of the week to really just um, let go as well. This is what I think, you know, this chanting does. It helps it, to, you know, to um, attune you your mind vibrationally um, so that, you know, fear can't get in while you're doing this, while focusing in on what it is that you desire um, and just being in a, a place of relaxation about it. So anything creative, if you're not really a musician, um, can be helpful, you know, painting or um, reading some kind of book that's inspiring to you that they're showing me a book so maybe read something that's very inspiring uh, to you that will help you to um, focus in a very positive way let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week which is the action for the week and look at this again it says make a wish and it says um, this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation so um, as we can see that this is a week where we're really um, doing some f really focusing and, and doing some uh, manifestation work um, in which we are um, aligning ourselves up with um, what it is that we've been asking for and where and that which actually it, we're being guided towards it. So all we have to do is really listen to the truth in our hearts um, and trust our goals that we've set forth. Um, and and so sometimes we, we can be impatient and maybe we think about giving up. And this, this is definitely giving us encouragement that um, we should continue to hold on to our dreams, um, hold on to and keep working with them and that um, it's another reassurance that the, that whatever it is that we've been working on is going to happen for us very soon so not to give up um, let's take a look at the card at the, for the end of the week here which would be the weekend and this is the lesson um, that maybe we need to learn this week or um, the the gift that may be coming to us and so the card is friendship. And it says, make a date for a play day with one or more friends. Okay. So I get a sense that, um, you know, after this work of manifest, this week of manifestation, and also, um, you know, just a sense that, that, you know, there's been a, a lot of um, maybe stress or tension in the previous weeks that it's time to just relax and, and have a good time and, you know, get together with, with really good friends and just enjoy each other's company. Um, you know, our friends are like symbols of God to us because um, they love us unconditionally and they support us 100%. You know, they always have our back. And this is what our relationship with God is. And so this is a great opportunity to reaffirm our faith in God by being with friends, um, you know, who are so much um, embody uh, for us um, the love of God. So let's take a look at the final card for the week. And this is the... Um, fairies card and I just turned it over and <laughs> just laughing because we've seen this we've seen this card before as well and this is kind of like our final advice so it's called letting go here and um, what uh, the fairies showed me in the vision was the number 96 which is really about keeping all of your focus on um, for your goals on your on the spiritual aspect of everything um, and leave um, have faith that and that the earthly concerns of your life purpose are being guided and fulfilled by you know the angels and the fairies so just really um let go here and so it's a sense that you know now you need to get to the place where you um since this has been about faith and manifestation and trusting that we need to just let go of our any worries or any concerns or any fears um, that what we have been praying for um, um, will happen. Um, the outcome is inevitable that we have it um, because it is God's will that you 
um, be happy and that you be fulfilled and at peace. Remember that plan of peace is given to everyone without exception, no matter who or what you think about yourself. And it's primarily um, a lot of the reasons why things seem not to happen is because we um, have have thoughts of limitations about ourselves and and we don't believe that sometimes that we deserve these things so it's usually about some kind of lack of worth or lack of love or lack of something that we are putting it into the mix of all of this and you know I'm just drawing back here again to the fact in this make a wish card which I feel has something to do with um, the vision I was telling you about with Osiris and um, and the unicorn and, um, you know, just noticing here that there's this unicorn and a mermaid here. Um, and so that um, we know that unicorns are very magical uh, beings and um, are very good, help us with our creativity. And so, you know, this week is seems like getting in touch with your creative selves, you, you know, getting really into the right brain activity um, and, and get out of the left brain uh, in terms of being too analytical, overthinking things, um, you know, breaking them down into bits and pieces. And 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 trying to make too much out of it, maybe uh, too much in, in looking too deeply into it, uh, trying to seeing things and gathering meanings from things that aren't really there. And what we kind of need, need to do is just back off from all of that kind of stress and tension, and just really um, relax and and let go. And so you know that Osiris is here. You know in the story, he was kind of um, was betrayed by his brother, and you know he was cut up into. 13 pieces, and so, et cetera. And so um, there's a trusting here that um, eventually, of course, um, Isis, the goddess, did uh, put peace him back together, except for one part was missing, but um, which was the phallic symbol, if I'm correct about this. But somebody else may know if, if I'm in error about this, then please uh, send me a note. But um, so the thing is, and it's interesting because the phallic symbol is a symbol of manifestation here and creation. So um, the thing is, is that what we need to do is, um, like Isis did, I mean, she, you know, I think there's something about, um, uh, she was, that uh, I'm trying to get the sense here, but there's a something, a, a sense of things are going to come back together. If I may think about what this vision means, um, that things are going to work out, things are going to come together. And so that, I think that's the, the message in this. Um, if you have other ideas about that, please share it. But I believe that's the, 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 the message in this um, vision, that things are going to come together. And so we just need to continue to have patience and, and be strong in our faith. And so um, we'll let this will this reading week's reading uh, end here but we're sending you um, so much love and encouragement as usual and I really enjoyed reading all of the comments this week um, for people thank you for sharing um, I really encourage you either on Facebook or Twitter to um, share your thoughts with uh, the community of, of the Angel School all of you have been um, so who subscribe to us and who are watching us and for all of you who are new and coming to this um, it's much much appreciated um, all of the love that you're sending me and I'm sending it all back to you um, you know many times over and um, asking for you know God's blessings in your lives um, as we go through this together and as we stay the course of our of our soul's truth and, and that's really what this has become all about for me uh, these readings is helping every last one of us to stay aligned with God's truth because in doing so we're going to find that plan of peace the plan of peace is in God's truth so every day Pray for clarity as we are more and more aligned with the energies now, as we've already been shifted into oneness in the fifth dimension um, and that newer consciousness. What is available to you right now is um, complete understanding of God's truth and what that reality of God's truth really means for you in your life, what it means for what the, your potential for joy and your potential for peace and to be able to experience that harmony within life itself at this time is more profound than it ever was. And from this, we're going to see great change 
uh, within ourselves and within our view and perspective of the world. And when that happens, that's when the real magic or the real miracle, rather, ha is going to happen um, in our world for change. As it's showing me the number five. Um, so be prepared as you engage upon this, because I see now... They show me an image of, you know, a larger fish swallowing the, uh, a, a smaller fish. So this, this change is really gonna, this is gonna be something you're gonna really need to take in because it's, it's just gonna completely, um, um, transform your entire life, um, in a very powerful way. So, um, so until next week, um, this, Keep our faith and hold on. And remember, if you would like to have an angel read with me and your first time, um, the promotional uh, offer is $50 for an hour reading. And um, and if you need any other kind of assistance, please feel free to uh, let me know. And until next week, angel blessings and God's love, eternal and peace be with you.